The Second World War is a source of many excellent stories. Stories of tragedy, bravery and determination in the face of overwhelming odds. A Netflix movie called Killing Hydric, or in some markets, The Man with the Iron Heart, tells the story of three men. One is Reinhard Heydrich, the main architect of the Holocaust, a man who is regarded by many historians as the most fearsome member of the Nazi elite. The other two are Jan Kubis and Josef Gubkik, soldiers of the Czechoslovakian army who were tasked with assassinating Heydrich. The movie stars Jason Clarke, Jack O'Connell and my secret crush, Rosamund Pike. The first half focuses mainly on Hydric and his rise to power, and in the second half we meet the assassins and their crew and follow them as they plan and execute their mission. One the most enjoyable film that drew me into it. Another thing I liked, and this is very much a personal preference, is that this is full of British, American and Australian actors, and with the exception of the Czech characters, they speak in a neutral accent. For some reason it bugs me when non-Germans play German or European characters and speak English like they're a German or European speaking English as a catalogue as Killing Hydric or The Man with the Iron Heart. It's a strong film that tells a gripping true story.